half mile from the house where I grew up, there was a road called Baseline Road. I mostly just saw it as the border between Gilbert and Mesa, two major cities in the Phoenix metro area. Now, if you haven't heard of those cities, don't worry, you're not the first person, but actually Mesa and Gilbert's populations combined is over a half million people. Now, Baseline Road turns out actually stretches across the entire Phoenix metro area. But why that road and why call it Baseline? In my last video, we learned about the system that was used by the Founding Fathers when we were mapping out the western expansion of the United States. That system used a grid, and each grid cell would have what was called a baseline. Baseline Road runs along the baseline of the grids in the Phoenix metro area. Surprise, surprise. But there was one more interesting thing about Baseline Road that took me a long time to figure out. A lot of the roads in Gilbert tend to meander as they get close to Baseline Road. Which was weird, because why would you have roads meander at the reference point? I mean, certainly you have modulations in a grid system, like a mountain preserve in Phoenix that breaks up the grid, but you wouldn't have a weird meandering line when it's next to the reference point, right? Well, turns out that it's based on the curvature of the Earth. No, really. As everybody except B.O.B. knows, the Earth is a sphere floating in space. Spheres are hard to map out on a two-dimensional plane. Imagine taking an orange peel and trying to flatten it out into a pretty rectangle. It can't be done. That's why it's hard to make a map that represents the Earth that's both pretty and accurate. A grid representing the surface of the Earth will run into the same problems, even a relatively small patch like the western part of the United States. So to combat that issue, the grid is actually tweaked at this line. Here is where the grid actually is. Notice how the roads don't actually correspond with the grid. Gilbert actually redid its roads so that they curve and have pretty intersections right at the baseline road. Not everywhere did it perfect though. Phoenix has these weird areas where the roads correspond with the grid line and have the curved line, leaving this weird little island in between the two roads. Phoenix isn't the only metro area to have a road that corresponds with a baseline or some other reference point in that grid system. The Meridian Highway in Texas is based on the sixth principal meridian. And Eight Mile Road in Detroit, made famous by Eminem, for a long time was called Baseline Road because it was on, you guessed it, a baseline. 